A new digital rendering of a redesigned CATS warrior being developed by Hindustan Aeronautics and New Space Research and Technologies has appeared, that highlights some major design changes. The CATS warrior's traditional air inlets has now been replaced with a narrow air inlet duct on top of the fuselage. The CATS warrior is also seen with the 25 km range ASRAM close combat missile, also known as the next generation close combat missile. The Indian Air Force already operates 40 Su-30 fighter jets armed with BrahMos air-launched missiles, and now the Indian Air Force has decided to send 25 more Su-30 fighter jets to Hindustan Aeronautics, for carrying out the structural electrical mechanical and software modifications on the aircraft, that is required to carry the 450 km range BrahMos air-launched missile. BrahMos Aerospace is also working on an enhanced BrahMos air-launched variant, that will have a range of 800 km for the Indian Air Force, while a smaller 290 km range BrahMos next generation variant will be carried by unmodified Su-30 Tejas Mark 1A Tejas Mark 2 AMCA and Rafale aircraft. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for information to procure 100 medium-range loitering munition from registered Indian vendors, and the complete delivery is expected to be completed within 12 months. It will feature electro-optical and infrared sensor for day and night capability, and will be able to target within the range of 150 km across the border. Deploying fighter jets to destroy the targets close to the borders will expose them to enemy's air defense, and these loitering munitions will be cost-effective option to destroy tactical targets such as communication nodes, Class B vehicles, troop concentrations and logistic networks. The Ministry of Defense has released a request for information to procure around 200 counter unmanned aircraft system, and the complete delivery is expected to be completed within 18 months. The counter unmanned aircraft system will feature multiple sensors to detect track identify designate and target enemy swarm drones approaching simultaneously from multiple directions. All subsystems of counter unmanned aircraft system will be portable and will use indigenous 4x4 vehicles. A joint team of the DRDO and Saga Defense Engineering have tested three remotely unmanned weaponized boats today, that are powered with electric propulsion system with lithium batteries, while others have a petrol engine. The three remote control armed boats were tested with no man on the vessel, and the video feed was transferred to the ground control station. Officials have said, that the unmanned boats have an endurance of about 4 hours, and a maximum speed of 46 km per hour, and will be highly useful for surveillance reconnaissance and armed patrolling. Hindustan Shipyard Limited has started the process for the procurement of DMR 249A Speciality Steel, for building five fleet support ships for the Indian Navy, while the design consultancy will be provided by Turkey's Anadolu shipyard with transfer of technology. The primary role of these 45,000 ton vessels would be to replenish ships of the Indian Navy with fuel food and various other supplies, but it would be equipped with weapons like anti-ship anti-submarine and close-in weapon systems. The Indian Army is planning to move its first Prachand helicopter squadron to Assam's Misamari in the eastern sector by the end of this month, which is located at an aerial distance of 250 km from the line of actual control. Hindustan Aeronautics will start integration of the 7 km range through Vastro anti-tank guided missile on the Prachand by end of this year, and it will be cleared for operational usage by August 2023. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has signed a contract for the supply of 10,000 bulletproof jackets of medium and large size to the Special Forces of Indian Air Force. The Garud Commandos will soon get these lightweight bullet-resistant body armor, that will replace bulky and heavy jackets that are hindrance in the swift movement of the Commandos.